biggin', biggin', giant, giant. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. We survived to the knockout round. You know, it's a brand new day, weights are zeroed. It'll be interesting to see how today goes. A lot of guys kind of got to a safe weight the first two days and let off. So it's hard to tell what guys are on and what they're not on. But today, all bets are off, pedal to the metal, the top 10 advances. So I'm, I'm guessing that 18-ish pound mark will get you in the top 10. There'll be somebody bust a 25 plus pound bag and that's gonna be the guy that's got the best shot to win that thing. And uh, I hope it's me. I know you're not talking to me. I well, I'm, I'm actually, I'm getting ready to fish a tournament in case you're wondering. Oh, really? That's yeah. Tell me, Mr. Coro, man. I don't know it. Will you cut Ready my cut yard? Some grass. Will you cut my yard? You got a yard to cut? How big's your yard? Big enough. Is it? Push mower? Yeah. Yeah, push mower. Okay. <laughs> step on out and draws. Come on. You want to go step on the draws? I got some hooks you can play with. <laughs> you left that tower. Is he a morning per? Is he a morning person? He loves I'm not going to catch crap today. Anytime I'm halfway excited, I'm like, I never catch crap. Do you start the morning off right? Throw me his in. Oh no, these are special to me. You trust him with keys that much on a boat dock? No. That's super brave. Yeah, I cannot believe it. <laughs> he's just gonna slang him. Here, let me give him a pack of worms. <laughs> but I mean, like, he's got like a death grip on him. Got me a secret little bait here. On the Signature Series Chungus Rod, by the way. It's brand new. First place you're gonna see that. Um, but we got the the, the bellow shad, the big old honking trailer on the back of the spinnerbait because we're gonna need a big old bite today. Like three or four big bait balls out here. I'm not seeing the bait. I might just roll. If I don't see them here shortly. I'm not seeing them. They ain't here. All right. I think I think I need to take this as a sign. We're out. Two ounces. Three, two. It's not a bad one. We need that to be our smallest one today. I'll take Three, two. Oh. Oh. That was freaking. That was good. That was her, dude. Oh, gosh. Do you see how hard it stopped when I loaded up? Gosh, dang it. What am I doing? Catch these fish. That was freaking her. Hmm. Looking for one bite. That's all we're looking for. One big bite. Big and big and giant, giant. Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Yes! Yes! Boom! Freaking! Giant. It's a seven something. Seven seven. You want to wait? Seven again? seven. No, I'm good. I just big at her. Looky here. G crack. Bill of shad on the back of a spinner bait. On the signature series Chungus Kissler rod. That's what I'm talking about. Boom, baby. Let's go. All right. Thank you, baby. Thank you, big fish. Thank you. Yes. Let's go. No, you're good. You're good. There's more here. There's more fish here. I just had one try to come eat me off of that. I had a feeling about this out here, but I was like, I just wanted a little bit of like movement in the, in the water, you know? I wanted that wind and that clouds, but I had that feeling about this water out here. A bit lightest bite ever, just went tick and a little slack and I just pulled and she was on it. When you hit them hard like that, close to the boat and they don't move, you know. Three I can't keep that half down enough with that big of a trailer, so I'm gonna put a three quarter on. 
So I'll be able to keep this bait down in front of them a lot better. It's called the G Crack Bellow Shad. And I actually, so I won big bass twice in heavy hitters last last year, both days. I use this bait as a sight fishing bait too. It's just such a like a bluegill profile, shad profile. It looks like a little bait fish down there. This bait stays down so much better. It's almost too, too much better. I need like a five eight, or I need a, yeah, I need a five eighths is what I need. Like this one's like, I'm having trouble keeping it up off the bottom, which isn't, isn't a terrible thing. Florida fish like the bottom, but you know, I'm imitating a shad, which typically if you're eating a shad, you're feeding up. Not a bad start. Two bites a period and we're good. Two bites a period and we're good. Big one, big one. I can't even move it. What do I have? It doesn't feel like a bass. It's a catfish. I was like, what do I have? Oh my God. Dang, that's like a 15 pounder. Fish, is that a pike or is that a bass? I think it's a bass, it's a bass. Not a big one, but he'll score. Two pounder, I'll take him. What a strange bite that was. Struggling, struggling, struggling. I need two three pounders and I think I'll make it. I don't think he's gonna score. Yeah, that's what I thought. I don't know if he's gonna score or not. I don't know. He's a one two. He is a one five. One pound, okay. five ounce. All right, Woo. one five. That'll move us up a little bit. Anything can happen now. Well, we didn't get his five, but that's how it goes sometimes. Yeah, we had a good time. We heading home? We are heading home. It's the punishment for sucking. <laughs> I don't know. That's what I was trying to explain to my official. And she's like, well, at least you can go rest. And I'm like, no, actually I get to go pack. And then I'm gonna drive till probably midnight tonight. And then Tyler's gonna edit till 2 a.m. And then we're gonna get back up early and drive some more. I really thought we were gonna do it today. I caught the three and a seven and had another couple other bites. And I was like, we're gonna get it. I was like, I just gotta grind out a couple three pounders. Three three pounders, that's all I need. And I couldn't get it done. First event of the year, I don't know, 22nd, 21st, something like that. Solid finish, good points. We got a paycheck and uh, we're headed on. Next one is Red Crest. 300 grand is gonna be on the line. So hopefully we can perform a little better there than we did here, but it's a good start to the season. Good points, got us a heavy hitter bass. Thank y'all for watching the first tournament of the Trimmed Up series. That's gonna conclude it. And uh, if you wanna watch any of the rest of the videos or the next videos, click right here. This is what happens when Alton films. It looks like this. Tyler getting the juicy drone shots. Here's the gun. I can't see anything. It's so bright. Yeah, your camera skills. Is that better? It's much better over here. Okay, yeah. Much better.